are you gonna say to me? You'll find out in the video. I'm about to, I'm literally just, I've just started it. Right, I've just pinched Diane's wine. So as you're probably aware, it's that time of year again. Strictly has officially begun. All these celebs have been announced. And so this is it. We, I am officially old news. Yeah. Hence why I'm on my third glass of red wine. That and the fact that I've been doing YouTube for exactly seven years today as well. So it's, it's a, bit of a, a bit of a celebration slash bit of a like a... Just like, Whoa. What the hell was that? Someone was not happy. We've got a ghost in this house, 100%. So Strictly is back again this year. Hey, do you want your um, tiramisu? No, not, not yet, thanks. I'm all good. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to, just trying to, just trying to make some content, you know? So Strictly is back this year. New celebs. I'm officially old news. <laughs> Joe, what's your name again? <laughs> you just said it. So I thought I would do a video um, going through each celeb and try and decide who I think, make a sug prediction, if you will, of who I think that celeb will get in this year's series of Strictly Come Dancing. If you're from another country and don't know what Strictly is, or you don't care about it, this probably isn't the video for you. If you do like Strictly and all that kind of stuff, then stay tuned, because, I mean, I'm not going to give any actual good information, but still, I'm just going to give my, off the top of my head, my first instinctual reaction to who I think that celeb will be partnered with in this series of Strictly Come Dancing, whilst having a few glasses of red wine, because I'm entitled to. It's my seven year anniversary, all right? I'll do what I want. It's my party and I'll do what I want to. Now, as much as I've tried to grind it out of Diane, I have no idea and she still will not tell me who has got a partner this year. So to make things easier for myself and for everyone else, I'm gonna match the celebs with the pro dancers that did the show last year, obviously minusing Pasha. My headphones. Huh? Headphones. I mean, I can't forget them. I'm recording a video. Right. In the words of Kevin and Perry, I am not your slave! Oh, you can't even see me. Oh, yeah, they can. So to make things easier, I'm going to match the celebrities with the uh, exact same pros that were on the show last year. Obviously, minusing Pasha because he's not in it this year. So whichever celebrity's left over, I'm going to see, obviously, who they are, what they're like, that kind of thing, and try and match them to who I think could potentially get them as a partner this year. First things first, I need to make a list of all the pros that were on it last year. Are you serious to put the kettle on whilst I'm trying to film a bit? This is not a kettle. You're a nightmare! Oh! I'm gonna write a list over the side of the kettle of all the pros on it last year. So, Kevin, who was the winner last year. Giovanni, Oti, Jeanette, Aljaz, or Aliash, Anton, Katia, Nadia, Gorka, Graziano, Amy Dalden, AJ Pritchard. Well, I mean, we're missing obviously the most obvious one. Who? You. Oh my god, <laughs> Diane. And Karen. So, and obviously Pasha, but we'll put a question mark for Pasha's partner. We've got our pros. We now need to look at our celebs list. Now, okay, so first up, we're gonna go in reverse order to the announcements. So we're gonna start with Annika Rice. Now, Annika Rice, I can imagine, like the obvious choice for Annika Rice, I feel like would potentially, would probably be Anton de Beck. But I, do you know what? I don't think that would be the case this year. Do you know what? From looking at the list, I think that Annika Rice will be matched this year. This is my, just me, just sort of guessing off the top of my head. The first thing that came to my head when I saw the word Annika Rice, I think that she'll be partnered with Kevin Clifton. Ooh. That's what I'm going with. I'm gonna put it out there. I think Kevin will be with Annika. I don't know why, it's the first name that came to my head when I saw Annika Rice was announced. I, just, I don't know how tall Annika is, but I know how tall Kevin is. I think that could work quite well. Mix it up a little bit, let's see how it goes. Right, next up, James Cracknell. I heard she's got moves too. She's got moves? Well that's good. I, Kevin's also got, mo got the moves. It could be a recipe for success. James Cracknell is the next one. Um, Olympic rower and adventurer and all sorts. I think that James Cracknell, he's a tall guy, so we need a tall girl. I think James Cracknell will either be partnered with Nadia or Karen. The thing is with me, there's two guys on here that will be partnered, I imagine, with Nadia or Karen. Off the top of my head, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna say James Cracknell will be partnered with Karen. I'm putting out there now, James Cracknell is gonna be a partner with Karen. That's my guess. He's a very competitive guy. I think Karen will love that, and I think they'll be a good, good chemistry, a good, a good team. So I'm going with Karen, James Cracknell. Next up, we have Dev Griffin, who's a radio DJ, 
From back in the day, he was on uh, a kids' TV show called Smile. That's where I first ever saw Dev. He was at like, the DJ on this kids' TV show called Smile. I've known of Dev since I was a kid. Absolutely love him. I think he's amazing. I think everyone on this lineup's amazing. Dev Griffin. I think Dev we partnered with Amy or OT. I swear we're still missing some girls off this list. Oh, because there's an extra boy, that's right. So I've just been told there's more celeb boys this year than there was last year. I think so, so, isn't there? Maybe. So that, that, that throws a right spanner in the works. I'm so confused now. Right. I'm going to partner Dev Griffin with Amy Dowden. I'm going to go Amy Dowden with Dev. I think that could work quite well. That's my bet. That's what I reckon. What do you guys reckon? Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Okay, so next up we've got Alex Scott. Now, Alex Scott, I think she will have maybe Gorka. I think that would work really well, actually. I think Gorka and Alex Scott would be a good pairing. I feel like I'm doing like a sort of like a celebrity dating show or something. I'm like trying to like match, uh, match people together. I think Gorka and Alex Scott, because they're both very sporty, they both love their fitness, and I think they'd actually be really good together. I think they'd probably sit around the same height as well, I don't know, but uh, that's what I would go for. Maybe I'll get a, a role on the show after this. Maybe I'll see it and be like, whoa, he knows his stuff, and then they, yeah. they put me on like... The, the new Strictly producer. I would always put you with whoever you didn't want the most. Hey! Just to, just to annoy you. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Right, okay, so next up we have Jamie Lang. Jamie Lang, right, now, Jamie Lang is one of the people that I think would work well with Diane. Obviously from Maiden Chelsea, the Sweetie Empire Lord, Jamie Lang. I think he would have, I think, do you know what? I think OT. I think Jamie Lang and OT would be a funny combo. I think that would be hilarious. I think that she would, OT would take none of Jamie's larking about. It would be hilarious to watch. It'd be great TV. I'm going to put OT with Jamie Lang. Do you agree with me? Let me know down in the comments below. Okay, so next up we have Will Bailey. Will Bailey is the Paralympian. Uh, I think I would put Will Bailey, I don't know how tall Will Bailey is, but I would put him with, I'm looking for the list, Jeanette. Or Katia. Jeanette or Katia. Jeanette. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. I'm going to put Will Bailey with Katia. That's my prediction. Writing that down, locking that in. I think Katia and Will, Will Bailey, would go together nicely. I do know what, I'm storming my way through this list. I thought it would be way harder. What? I can't hear you. You've got my earphones in. I thought it would be way harder, especially after a few glasses of wine, but I actually, I'm storming through this. Don't worry. What? Don't worry. I can actually hear you. I'm just being annoying. Yeah. Like always. Next up, Michelle Visage. Now, Michelle Visage, do you know what? I think Michelle Visage would be brilliant with Anton Debeck. I think that would be a great mix. Although, saying that, I also think Emma Weymouth, uh, Viscount, uh, Viscountess Emma Weymouth, would also be a brilliant match of Anton because of like the. I don't know. I feel like that would work nice. But, do you know what? I'm going to throw a span in the works. I'm going to say I think Michelle Visage would go great with, mm, actually, uh, no, John, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it. I've, I've, I've had an epiphany. What? I've had an absolute epiphany. What? How tall is M Michelle Visage? Uh, well, I'm asking you, you would have no idea, six right. Six foot two. No, I, she's not six foot two. Oh, here we go. Visage has a well-maintained body figure. She stands at a height of five foot four inches. Oh, that's short. I'm five five. So she's shorter than you. Yeah. Wow, see that changes things completely. Okay, right. So I'm gonna- Oh my God, you don't, you can never trust Wikipedia because- No, it's not I, Wikipedia. Because I, um, I'm 5'3 on Wikipedia and I'm actually 5'5". Hmm, yeah, I'm, it says I'm 5'8 on Wikipedia, but I'm actually six foot. Anyway, I was gonna put Michelle Visage with Aliash, because I thought that would be TV gold, I think. Like, I genuinely think that would be a match made in heaven. I think Aliash would be in his element with Michelle Visage. But, five foot four, I think is too short for Aliash. So I think maybe, how tall is Anton? Seven foot two. <laughs> He's not, you're being, you're being ridiculous. On my first um, uh, like phone call with Strictly, they asked me how tall I was. I was in Australia at the time, and I said six foot five. You said you were six foot five? Yeah. You're an absolute wally. I got it. Okay, so Anton's five foot ten. Aliash's height is eight. Aliash is a bit taller than Anton. Okay, so, right, I've changed my mind. 
It's been difficult, but I've changed it. I'm gonna put Anton, it's took a long time to do actually, bloody hell. I'm gonna put Anton with Michelle Visage. Okay, done. Next up on the list, Viscountess Emma Weymouth. Now, I, I would have put her with Anton originally, but I'm gonna change that now. Now I'm gonna put her with, I'm gonna put her with Graziano? No, mm, I'm gonna put Graziano with the, the Viscountess Emma Weymouth. I don't know how I feel about that. That one I feel like, if I'm gonna get any of them wrong, I feel like this could be one that I, I'm, I'm way off, I don't know. But I'm gonna go with that just because I've got the rest on the list. And next up we have Karim, who, do you know what? I'm gonna put Karim with my other half, Diane. I don't know why, I've got a feeling in my bones that that could be a good match. So I'm gonna put Diane with Karim. But I'd love to know your opinion on who you think will have who, whoever. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. If you think there'll be a different pro with a different dancer, let me know down below. Right, next up we have Mike Bushell, who uh, I've met Mike, and he is one of the nicest, sweetest guys that I've met in a long time. He's just an absolute legend. I love Mike to bits already. I've only met him very, very briefly, but instantly I was like, I love you, you're a great man. I think my bet is that Mike will be with Jeanette. I'm locking that in now. I think Jeanette will have Mike. Next up, we've got Catherine Tildesley from Coronation Street. Now, Catherine, I'm gonna put with Giovanni Ponice. Catherine with Giovanni. This is all shaped up nicely, right. Next up, we have Saffron, Saffron? Why are you putting TH in there? Saffron Barker. Sorry, Saffron. Saffron Barker. Uh, I, I mean, I think the obvious choice for Saffron would, of course, be AJ. So I'm going to put Saffron with AJ. By the way, um, everyone needs to get right. You will owe me, I don't know, a bottle of wine. For everyone to get right, you owe me a bottle of wine. Emma Barton, I'm going to put with... Emma Barton, I'm going to put with Aliash. And then we've got Chris Ramsey, who... Oh, that's... that's that's changed it. We've got David James and Chris Ramsey left. Now, the only pro we have left on the list that was from last year is Nadia. And I see David James being part of Nadia. So I'm gonna put David James with Nadia. Okay, so that means that poor Chris Ramsey has been left on his own on my like little dream team of like, I feel like I'm doing like one of those like football things. I feel like I'm doing like a dream team. I'm like writing out my own sort of team. So that leaves poor Chris Ramsey on his own. There's the two possible choices of obviously who the pro could be to take on Chris Ramsey and that is either Luba or Nancy, the new pro that's just been announced on Strictly. So, I, I mean, I don't know. How tall is Chris Ramsey? How tall is Luba and Nancy? I'm, I'm not too sure. That leaves me having to put in, I mean, I, I can't pick. I'll put Luba, Luba slash Nancy with Chris Ramsey. That actually rhymes and I'm very happy with that. Okay, so done. Time is up. Clock, clocked it in. Right, okay. You ready for this day? And I've done my list. Okay, go on. Here we go, right. Strictly music, please. Da, 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 da. From television, Anna Karai with her partner, Kevin Clifton from Coronation Street, Catherine Tilsey and her partner Giovanni Panice. From Made in Chelsea, Jamie Lang and his partner Oti Mabuse. Sports correspondent Mike Bushell and his partner Jeanette Manrara. EastEnders star Emma Barton and her partner Alias Goliannis. From RuPaul Drag Race, Michelle Visage and her partner Anton Dubeck. Paralympian Will Bailey and his partner Katia Jones. Sporting legend David James and his partner Nadia Bishkova. Footballing legend Alex Scott and her partner Gorka Marquez. Viscountess Emma Weymouth and her partner Graziana de Prima. Radio DJ Dev Griffin and his partner Amy Dowden. Social media star Joe Sugg and his. Ah, oh, no, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh! <laughs> Social media star Saffron Barker and her partner. AJ Pritchard. I put in my notes, I put Diane with Diane. I've oh messed that right up, oh my god. CBBC star Karim Zarul with his partner Diane Boswell. Olympian James Cracknell and his partner Karen Hauer. Comedian Chris Ramsey with his partner Luba or Nancy. Haven't decided yet. Right, so there we go. That was my prediction of who I think will be matched with who off the top of my head. I've had no assistance. It's all just my own kind of like opinion of who I who I imagine going with who. I would love to know your predictions down below. Um, obviously, there could be different pros involved. There could be, you know, it's, it's not a set list of who the pros are. 
it's just like what I did off of last year's pro, if that makes sense. But anyway, it could all change, who knows? Uh, we'll find out in very, very soon. But I am so excited to watch the new series. I hope you are as well. It's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be insane. It's gonna be, I just cannot wait to see how these celebs get on. Uh, I can't wait to support them all, as well as all the pros, uh, and just, just get it going again, because I've missed it. It's been a year. I am, I'm a little bit upset that I'm not in it. Are you, you also I mean? gonna react to my dances every week? Uh, maybe, yeah, if you're lucky. I'm not in it anymore, who cares? Do you know what I mean? It's not, it's, not, like it's not me anymore, so maybe I won't. Who cares, I don't know. I'm like busy doing other things. But anyway, yeah, I cannot wait for this series to begin. I've missed it a lot. I'm not gonna lie, it does feel very, very weird that um, it's happening again. And I, I, you know, I do feel like the year eight, that's very jealous of the year sevens coming up to school and, you know, getting to do uh, all the fun. But I think it's because I know how much fun this show is and how exciting and amazing experiences for these new pros that have no idea what they're about to go through and what they're about to experience. Um, it is honestly the time of your life. So if any of you are watching this, enjoy every single second because it is the best uh, experience you'll probably ever have, which is quite a, <laughs> quite a, a sad thing to end on. This will be, this will be the peak of your life, basically. After this, it all goes downhill. Uh, I'm joking. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you agree with my predictions, uh, let me know. Um, if you don't, let me in the comments below how you would do it, and I'll look through and sort of say if I think you're right or wrong or not. Let's have a fight in the comment section down below. Anyway, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave comments, all that kind of thing, and I'll see you again very, very soon with uh, another vlog. But until then, goodbye. Actually, no, wait, until then, this. This is important. Look, look at this. To go.